fucking terrible. It's so fucking bad, I can't even... It's the worst fucking shit I've ever heard. I mean, you know, it's going great. It's always going great, right? Like, it's the Rye guy! It's Rye Rye! Me and Dad, we're, 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 you know, we're, we're a team now. And I didn't even... No, I... I wasn't even accused of killing my actual father. You know what I mean? So it's just nothing but good news from here. Hey, hey, hey. <sighs> you know, I, I I thought he had a lot of talent. You know, because you can you can hear that his music is is you know it's somewhat good, mostly bad, mostly terrible. But there's there's little tiny nuggets of not shitty in there. But uh, it turns out he's very shitty. It's called, um, I, uh, Love is Not Dead. It's called, um, it's called Marching from This Murder I Go. It's called Symphonic Cats. How would you describe the genre of music? Oh, I mean, it's soft rock all the way, baby. It's not this metal shit like Yacht Rock, you know what I mean? <laughs> Ryan Bryan falls into the category of music that makes you want to gouge your own eyes out with forks and then eat it and then shit it out and eat it again because it would be better than listening to the fucking music. They say playing maracas is hard. Look at this. No, no, no. Okay, maybe, maybe no, no maracas. Maybe no shakers. No, no shakers. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. No. Well, I, I came out of the womb in a set of headphones. Uh, I was born listening to Bachman Turner Overdrive, uh, along with other great prog rock bands of the 60s and 70s, King Crimson, Yes, uh, and many other uh, symphonic uh, elements. So when I was uh, two years old, I began uh, orchestrating my own symphonies, and, uh, and I was... Uh, quickly laughed at and ridiculed out of Carnegie Hall uh, because I, I was still in diapers, which is not fair, mind you. But uh, since then, I've uh, been working mostly in noise rock and ambience. Oh, that was so lame. Dad knows Lars Ulrich, right? Which is supposed to be like... I'll tell you this. Lars Ulrich is a very underrated human being. I find him to be a very pleasant individual, and people talk a lot of shit about him, but I, we have a lot in common. We like uh, all kinds of things. We like pickled herring. Uh, we enjoy, uh, you know, uh, golfing. Uh, so a very pleasant individual, and, and it was just a wonderful experience. Dad's like friends with Lars Ulrich, which is so lame. They're just like sitting there playing tennis. Dad can't see shit. And uh, it's just Lars clowning on him the whole time. It's kind of pathetic. All right, a lot of people don't know how to do a cover song on drums. Uh, I'm going to show you right now how to do Waiting for a Girl Like You by Foreigner. So long I've been looking Well, I, I thought the relationship would be a bit smoother. I've been waiting a long time to, to connect with Ryan on that level where it's father, son, mentor, mentee, student, teacher. But now it's just more like me and fucking asshole. Shitty fucking asshole with no talent bullshit mother... Okay, breathe, breathe, breathe. Roger! Roger, I need special time. Where's Roger? How many instruments do you play on this record? Yeah, all of them. I play all of them. I, look, 
When you want to bring in the best, okay, you call the rye guy. You call rye Bry. Ryan Bryan. Now, I've told you before, I've made many records. Just They just didn't happen to get cleared for copyright infringement, and so they weren't legally available to be released. But I'm no rookie at this, okay? Dad may know a lot, but so do, so do I. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't have to replace every fucking track on the record. I have to go back. I have to sing all the parts. I have to play all the instruments. I have to rewrite all of the songs because I can't release this fucking nonsense. It's bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. Did I kill my dad? My stepdad? Or did the world? For the love of God, hit it here!